Question 10. And as always, I've got my question up here so I can read it. Hopefully you've got your paper in front of you. Sarah has a snack at work each day. She has this information about the snacks she had last week. So we've got the days Monday through to Friday, the snack that she had, and how many calories there were in each of those snacks. Sarah thinks the mean number of calories in these snacks is more than 200. Is she correct? So, best way, let's work out the mean and then compare it to 200. So, to work out the mean, we need the total value and then we divide that by the number of values. Okay, so we have got 105, 260, 49, 257, 234. Now we're going to add these all together. So 5 plus 0 plus 9 is 14, plus 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25, carry the 2. 0 plus 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, so I've carried the 2. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 7, plus another 2 is 9. Okay, we could have used our calculator, but it doesn't take very long to do it that way. So we've got the total value, now we want 905 divided by 5. Okay, I'm going to do this using the bus stop method. Again, you can use your calculator, but I think it's always nice to do this. So, 5 goes into 9 once with a remainder 4. 5 goes into 40 8 times, no remainder, and 5 goes into 5 once. So we end up with a mean of 181. Uh, so, this is less than 200, so we can say, no, Sarah is incorrect.